like we said, we already met comedic actor Frank. I'm going to get this right. You help me. Ingraciata. Ingraciata. <laughs> he is the star of the one man show Blood Type Ragu. It is now open at Shays Smith Theater. In this show, Frank, you're joining us on the couch right now. In yes. this show, you impersonate all of your Italian relatives. There's yes. 20 characters. 22 but it's to be exact. you on stage. Me, me. How do you keep them all straight? I, uh, I'm a little bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's, uh, it's just knowing who the character is and what the character is about. And this is all about your life growing up yes. in a large Italian family, which right. is something that a lot of people here in Western New York can really right. relate to. What have, what is the reception it's my been like so far? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. I'm so happy to be playing for Buffalo audiences. It's about my experiences growing up as a first generation child of immigrant parents <laughs> and what that child goes through growing up between two cultures. And how did your family end up here? How did your parents end up here? Uh, well, you in know, they, they were products of the, uh, you know, depression after World War II, you know, to find a better life, they came here. So, so you know, my father came first, and then he sent for my mom, and they started a new life here. And, you know, very grateful for it. And uh, you grew up with them and with this other Italian family. Did other relatives come along the way as yes, well? Yes, other relatives did come. We had a little enclave in, in the heart of uh, Italian section of Greenwich Village where, you know, everybody knew your, everybody, the neighbors knew you. Everybody watched out for you on the block. That's what it was. So if you did something bad, everybody knew and you got slapped by everyone. <laughs> and how did you get into show business? Um, well, uh, I had this, um, I was very active in theater in, in uh, high school. Mm -hmm. It was a great uh, avenue of expression for me. And I felt uh, people said I had a knack for it and went on to study uh, acting uh, at a professional school and started working on daytime dramas. Uh, I was just speaking to one of your cameramen about being on One Life to Live for five years, where I played Ren Renee Buchanan's head waiter at the Palace Restaurant. When, what for, was that like? That was fun. I had a great experience, great people to work with, you know. And I was just in a movie called Figs for Italo that's coming out next year, directed by Bob Chelly. And, uh, you know, so I'm a working actor. Yeah. And the show Blood Type Ragu, this is your baby. Where did you get the idea for it? Well, I had uh, always these stories that I would tell to my friends that made them laugh. Uh, fun stories. Uh, I, I was encouraged, you know, you really should do something with it. I it was a great uh, admirer of people who do solo performance. So um, I enrolled enrolled in a class, I, I just disciplined myself to write a one hour and a half play where I would uh, develop these characters, and uh, off I went. So um, I, I developed the show. It was off Broadway uh, five years ago, got great reviews, and uh, I've been touring it ever since. And I read that you actually performed it at the State House for Governor Cuomo, yes, who yes. is a well known in the Italian community. Yes, what was yes. that like? Amazing experience. I, I played at the main uh, theater in, in Albany, and I was invited by the legislators to do like 15 minutes of the show at the New York State Capitol and the governor was there and I had lunch with him and he goes, oh, blood type ragu. You know, he was, <laughs> he was great and, uh, uh, and it was very well received and I was honored on the House floor of the New York State Assembly giving like a citation. So it was a great experience. What too. was his favorite part of the show? Oh, uh, when I did the neighbors on the block, you know, because I never knew any of my neighbors' real names because my, <laughs> my mother had nicknamed everyone with their most outstanding feature or characteristic. Such as? You know, oh, well, there was La Jew the Jew, you know, <laughs> they were a very attached old Jewish couple, whether together or alone, and other them labeled in just the Jew. And so you didn't know their Yeah, yeah. There was uh, the ra La Sketa Rajada, the raging spinster, because <laughs> she never married, and she'd always yell at her parents, saying, when are you going to die and leave me in peace? You know? <laughs> and uh, there was uh, La Morte Passione, the passionate dead woman, because you'd only see her once a month to shake out her <laughs> dust rag, you know? Then there was Mrs. Camarada with her legs spread open, because she would do that in front of her lawn statue of the Virgin Mary, and my mother would say, Ved Gonya, shame on you that the Madonna has to view that. <laughs> <laughs> so the characters go on and on and on. Well, thank you so much for being here today. You're not going anywhere. You're no. actually teaming up with Gigi's because you have your shared uh, Sicilian culture, of course. So we're going right. to invite you into the kitchen right. as we make our couscous recipe with Chef Marianne. Today we're going to explain a little bit more about how they're teaming up while you are at Shea Smith Theater with right. this show. And there's all kinds of performances left. It's through October 26, I believe, so the next couple weekends. Actually, it's running till Sunday. Till Sunday, yeah, yeah. this Sunday. Okay, that is the October 19th. 19th. Yeah. Yes, Thank yes, you so yes, much, Frank. So yes, don't go anywhere. We'll be back right. with you in the kitchen in just a second. Right now, though, it's time to toss out to 